Hey, good day and happy Friday everybody. This is Juice. So I recently upgraded my DCS install folder to a one terabyte SSD from a an older 500 gigabyte SSD. Now you have to understand the background on this. Back when I first started in DCS, uh, I had Flaming Clips 3 and we only had one map, Caucasus. So I had an old 90 gigabyte Kingston SSD laying around. So I went ahead and put that on that as a separate SSD for DCS. So that, you know, if you ever want to clean up your files or do a fresh install, you just got one drive instead of having to take it out of a partition on your hard drive. And so I went with that 90 and then during, I, you know, I eventually got the Mustang, then the Huey and then the Hornet. And I, when, during one of the torrent updates for DCS, that disk locked up on me because it got too full. So my old drive that I had on DCS prior to this new one terabyte drive was a 500 gigabyte Western Digital SSD. It's not represented here. This is the new one that I showed you guys right there. Uh, and the old one was about 70% full. So I wanted to make sure that the uh, the update for DCS coming with the uh, the Apache and the new South Atlantic map and hopefully the Strike Eagle someday and a few other modules. I, I was going to hope that I wasn't going to get back into a situation where I was going to get over uh, crowded on the disk drive and possibly have it lock up on me. So I googled uh, how to move your files. And there's plenty of stuff you can find out there uh, on the internet about how to do it in you know Reddit files and, and on the forums in DCS World or Digital Combat Simulator World uh, forums. And then I found a few videos on YouTube, mostly by the Grim Reapers, but none of them were complete enough. Uh, and they actually pointed out that there's a an old way to do this and here's the new way that I found that was more simpler and it saved me a lot of time on having to change a lot of stuff and I'll tell you about that as we go through. So there's the new drive and it's uh, it's always recommended that you install DCS on a separate SSD or M.2 for speed and also for cleanliness so you don't get, you know if you have a problem with your main drive you can always reinstall a new install and then you can always connect that old drive to DCS or to uh, Windows uh, and have your executable go to that drive. So in this case, my old DCS drive was a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue uh, SSD, and it was labeled uh, DCS, like I have there in parentheses, and it had it was assigned to the G letter. Now you would think all I got to do is install a new drive and then just move them over. Well, if you do that, you won't be able to designate that new drive letter to G because G's already taken. So what happens is, is if you install to a new drive, let's say you do it to the J drive right now, like my next available drive would be the J drive. If you install it to the J drive, then you have to go and find all your executable files. And when we get to the end, I'll show you all the executable files that I had to change when I first did my, my new install. But now, this is so easy, I'll show you. You're not going to believe how fast this is. It may be the best way, but there, I'm sure there's other ways that are even better. So what I did is I, uh, I went ahead and first created a DCS transfer folder. I called it DCS install folder and I put it on my C drive, which is my C drive is a one terabyte mechanical hard drive that I keep all like my documents, pictures, videos, uh, taxes, whatever. Don't hack into my system, guys. Uh, everything like that while I'm working on them. And I keep it for storage because mechanical drives have a read and write life cycle that's a lot longer they are a little bit, um, you know, slow, but they still are great storage places. They're good foundation storage places so that if you ever have a corrupt SSD, you'll know what I mean. So, uh, so I've moved it over there and I copied the files and I think it took maybe 20 minutes for all those files to copy. It was like 62,000 items that had to be moved. And I just copied the whole DCS install folder. So what I did is I went to my old uh, DCS install folder, which was the one ter or the 500 gigabyte and I, it was my G drive, so I clicked on it. I copied the whole folder, right click, copy DCS World Open Beta, it's the only install I have from the old SSD, and I went ahead and right clicked and pasted it into the new folder on the one terabyte mechanical drive, just as a temporary storage. So then, what I did next is I powered down the system, I removed the old Western Digital Blue, you can see it right there, that's the old one right there, 500 gigabyte solid state drive. I removed it, disconnected it, and then I went ahead and took it out and put the new one in in spot, wired it up, you know, plugged it in, plugged in the data and the power, and then I went ahead and booted the system. And once I booted it, booted it, I notice you'll notice that your drive most likely won't show up because it hasn't been initialized yet. Uh, initialize is an old term, but what you basically you have to do is you have to go to disk management. I'll show you how to do that real quick. 
So now we're going to go out of the slideshow here and we're going to go right down here, right click on your Windows button down there in the lower left if you have it down there. And you're going to go uh, run and mine is going to have the last command I put in there which was disk management and it's disk mgmt dot mike sierra charlie that's mcs so you hit ok and then once that opens up your disk management you'll see all your drives there what uh, what free space you have percentage wise and everything so since I've already done this what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I would do if I was moving it so here's the old drive that I've already formatted and unallocated so that it would show up like unallocated so it's usually in black see all these are blue and they're good and you've got healthy partitions you've got a recover partition for your C drive all that kind of good stuff if you're like me uh, and then what you got down here is this this would be the new drive now if it's a new one terabyte SSD it's gonna say something like 972 gigabytes available or something like that it's gonna have some some space off of it you know I think it's might be might be a 965.75 like this just minus whatever you need for the operating system space or for the utility space that has to be on either every drive so it's readable writable and stuff so what you do is you right click on that black drive that's the new one you go new simple volume and I'm sorry this is not big bigger for you guys but I'll put it here in the middle so you go new simple volume right here you go next so it tells you the space and how much you want to do. If you want to do any simple volume size, you can constrain that if you want, but you go next. And then you can select the drop down here, and you'll notice because you remove that old G drive, notice how, see how G is not available for me right now? If I would have removed the new G drive, it, I'd be able to label this one G drive. So what you would do is you would just find the G or whatever your drive letter was before. Now, if you're doing this as a new install and you had DCS on like your C drive, you're basically going to be able to pick whatever leather path and you're going to have to do your shortcuts uh, you're going to have to go through and edit your shortcuts and I'll show you how you could do that too now what I'll do is I'm going to say I'm going to call this one the J drive this is basically just going to be a blank 500 gigabyte drive right now and then I'm going to hit next and then it's going to be NTFS default and new simple volume highlight that and I'm going to go you know new you know it, in your case you're going to go whatever drive you have if it's Samsung you might want to put S capital S let's say it's a Samsung drive space 1 TB and then I'll put in parentheses DCS parentheses perform that label and then hit perform quick uh, format and go finish so now there's my new drive it's a Samsung one terabyte DCS this is just fictitious. I'm just doing it as an example. Then all I got to do is go over here, go to the File Explorer, go to your. Where did I have that at? I had that on the. I had it down here on my one terabyte storage DCS install folder, and you grab that folder that would be in there and copy it. And then you go back into where the new DCS drive is and go paste. And then it might take, you know, depending on how big your DCS files are, it might take up to 20 or 30 minutes, might take less. So once you do that, you are good to go to go ahead and launch DCS and test it. Now, if you're making a new install from your C drive to a new brand new drive letter it's never been in, then you're going to have to go and change your shortcut paths. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So if you right click on your DCS shortcut that's on your desktop or on your taskbar and then you bring it up and you right click again and you go properties you can see right here I wish I can expand that for you a little bit but you can see right here where it says target G drive right there you would just change this path where it says start in put in the new drive letter right there just backspace after the before the colon go backspace and hit the new drive letter but since I don't want to change mine mine's the G drive I'm gonna hit cancel so a lot of guys have done this and you'll see this in the forums where they've done it and everything's great until there's a DCS update and their DCS won't update so then what you have to do is you have to go change the shortcut for the DCS updater so if you want to go to Windows right click hit run type in the word update whoops I made a mistake there go to right Windows or right click Windows search update Let me turn off the caps lock. Update. There's update DCS world open beta. You click on that, it'll automatically run it. But if you want to, you will need to go search for it. Search, update, 
DCS world. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say open file location. And then right there, it'll take you to where that is. And I've got right there, it's, the, uh, it's in my Eagle Dynamics DCS Open Beta, and it's in, uh, it's in a folder with documentation. And then it's got Open Beta. These are the three executables that I found that are most important and probably the only ones that are in there unless you guys have like an uninstalled executable uh, like I do. So what you do is you right-click on it, and you go Properties, and that's where you would change that letter drive right there for the update. Then you would go up to the repair DCS world, because every now and then you have to run repair. You would want to go up here and go properties, and you'll change the dri letter drive right there where it says start in, that target. Make sense? If you have any questions, post it in the comments. Everything's great here at the Welch household and the juice place. And if you guys want to play DCS with some like-minded guys, head over to Tactical DCS. It's a really great community that Air Warfare Group is part of, and that's where we all kind of got our start from is over there. Uh, lots of different guys at different levels that will play with you uh, and fly with you and stuff. That's all I have for today. I wanted to do this video based on a couple requests from the community post, and that's a good time for me to plug that. If you go to Air Warfare Group, click on the community tab and scroll down through that. We post a lot of stuff like our, our history and some of the stuff that we've done in the military, uh, pictures and stuff like that, but a lot of times we post in there links to videos and links to um, shortcuts or uh, files that you can get that we use. A lot of people ask for my FaceTrack No IR file for DCS. Uh, a lot of people have asked for my Lua file for my um, for my HOTAS settings and stuff, and you'll find all of that there. Again, look there, and then if you don't see it there, go ahead and poke me with a question in any one of our videos. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, keep in touch. We love to have comments in the uh, in the in the videos section, and also on the for on the community tab. And then you can also reach out to Tyro, myself, Takeda, and any of the other guys through the Tactical DCS Discord. We're all members over there. And you guys have a great day. Everybody be safe and enjoy the wonderful world of DCS World.